I got cool. So I got Gumi this new hanging thing with a bunch of fun stuff that she wore and she seems to like it but the big news is I got Gumi some new palettes because literally she hates every single one other one that we've tried and she'll only eat the um, seeds so I got her this and she actually ate a little bit of it. It doesn't look like it but in her little salad here she had a lot more pellets than that and she was eating them so I'm really excited because I think I found a pellet that she likes. Where did she go? Oh, she's gone again. Well, not the point. We found a pellet that I think she kind of likes so I'm happy about that. At least she has something that she'll eat because the other pellets she would not eat at all. We're going to be moving her to this cage um in a little while like we want to get it set up perfect and everything <clears throat> which is really hard because of pastel but we're gonna put some new um paper on it and we're going to decorate it up and everything and then it's gonna have a big platform here with that board and that on top and we're gonna glue this in <clears throat> even though it seems like it's holding right now and then her wheel will go right here and we're gonna put some substrate here and up here and then we're gonna fill this and I fixed this so that her water it has a little stand I'm gonna put a cloth on this so that it doesn't like get ruined or anything um so i'm gonna put a little thing on this so that she can step up here and get her water um and she doesn't have to lean and then we're gonna get two more to put here so that she can get up here <clears throat> because honestly that slide is just a way for her to get down it never really worked anyways also if you're getting the savic cage just know the pink platform and the green platform are supposed to go like this. They're <clears throat> really not supposed to stack on top of each other because it literally just like you cannot include this slide if you stack them. And they have to be a specific way to fit in here. So that little hidey hole ends up at the front if you put it on this side. And this ends up way too tall. And if you put this on this side on top, it kind of hits this um, tunnel a little bit. So, just in case anybody was wondering, it's really supposed to be like this. And yes, I know that there's not enough bedding in here right now. <coughs> this is just her starter bedding. And then I'm going to put a substrate in here with like a little thing to block it so it can't get everywhere. And then we're going to put her bedding in here too. We're going to leave this spot low for her wheel. And then this spot will be all bigger bedding. And then her little hidey hole will either go there or over here. I haven't decided yet. Um, so she'll have like three hidey hole options. She'll have <coughs> a new sand bath. And then she'll have her wheel and then we're going to put toys in there. <coughs> in the past two days, I've literally developed like this really, it's not a bad cough, but like I've developed this really annoying cough. And like, my throat could hurt a little bit. So, <sighs> that's why in the background I sound like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, ugh. As you guys know, it's been a crappy couple days. And I haven't gotten anything done this week yet. So, oh well, that's just how it happens sometimes. 
Today is supposed to be kind of rainy slash sunny-ish. Like, it's supposed to be perks of sun and then rain and clouds. But tomorrow it's supposed to be sunny. So, maybe tomorrow we'll take them to the park and just go out on a nice walk or something. So, my shelf on here fell and everything on it came down. I had that on it and I'm thinking... It was too much, so King Bob is up there for right now, but <clears throat> anybody have any ideas, like, how to put something on here without, like, damaging it or going through it, because it's so pretty, I don't want it to go through on this side, like, I would like to put something there, like I had, possibly, 